Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Steam's got a lot of great sales and deals running right now, so gonna run through some of the ones under $10. We're not gonna go, uh, go below $5 generally. Whenever I go in terms of under a price threshold, we stay above the next threshold. So I do videos under five. This is under 10, so it's really five to $10. You guys get the idea. A lot of publisher sales running right now. Capcom sales, uh, Bandai Namco deals, EA deals, so on and so forth. So let's just get right into it. A lot of good stuff. So let's kick it off with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Now this is nowhere near the cheapest that Jedi Fallen Order has gone. It's 75% off for $9.99. It seems like EA has jacked up the sale price of this game because Jedi Fallen Order has been going on sale frequently and it seems like it'll just go down to $9.99 now. Now Jedi Fallen Order is an absolutely awesome game and it's easily worth your $10. This is the kickoff to Cal's story and obviously um, a very, very good game. I mean, Jedi Survivor had its issues with the PC version, but Fallen Order was really well done. The only criticism I had for this game was I thought the map layout and the map itself was really, really poorly done. However, Combat, visuals, narratively, I think the game was really strong. Now, as a game, I do think Jedi Survivor is the stronger game, but Jedi Survivor is legitimately outside of the atrocity that is the PC version. Uh, one of my favorite games of 2023. I just thought it was absolutely excellent. But uh, Fallen Order was really good as well, and if you play these Star Wars titles, you should play them sequentially. They're working on the third game, which is supposed to wrap up Cal's story, so, you know, kind of bummed out about that, but... Uh, you know, be glad that it happened instead of sad that it's gone, whatever the saying is. And uh, Jedi Fallen Order, again, definitely recommend that at $9.99. Next up, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. 85% off for $9. This deal is disgustingly good. I mean, it gets you Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. This is the These are the games that Bioware dropped before they were absolutely washed. We'll see if they, you know, course correct with uh, Dragon Age of the Veil Guard. I don't know, uh, but... You know, we'll see, but Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 are awesome. The Legendary Edition is great, revamping ME1 a little bit, but still, that game does show its age, let's not get it wrong. Like, Mass Effect 1 is a game from 2007. Games from 2007 just seem to show their age a lot, because Mass Effect 1, Uncharted 1, Witcher 1, all three of those games were dropped in 07, and all three of them show their age. Uh, Mass Effect 2, in my opinion, still one of the greatest video games ever created. Mass Effect 3 is really good as well, outside of the atrocity that is the ending, but, uh, you know, it's still a really, really good game and the entire trilogy is worthwhile nine dollars very much recommended and you get the dlc content as well just a bargain for everything you're getting next up we got okami hd 50 percent off for 9.99 great deal for okami hd uh okami is a game that is iconic on the playstation 2 and if you look up lists of like the top 10 top 20 uh ps2 games of all time okami is usually in the mix at the upper echelon like a lot of people will rank it among the top five top 10 some people will even have it at their number one generally speaking whenever i see the top list of like ps2 games like SOTC Shadow of the Colossus is usually number one or like Metal Gear Solid 3 but Okami certainly in the mix and there's a reason why the PS2 is considered one of the greatest consoles of all time because it had so many great games but uh yeah Okami HD 9.99 is great the game sees a lot of comparisons to like Legend of Zelda and I can definitely see that in terms of exploration and how the game is designed definitely has its own style to it great art style great soundtrack $9.99, pretty good pickup for that for sure. Next up, we got My Hero 1's Justice 2, 85% off for $5.99. The Ultimate Edition is on sale, but uh, that's all the way at $19.99, so pretty pricey. Now, I really did enjoy My Hero Academia as an anime. I am not completely caught up with it. I got to, like, the halfway mark of Season 3, and I just, you know, haven't gone back and really watched it. Uh, I heard the ending of the manga wasn't all too great, and the anime is still running. Like, no spoilers, but, uh, yeah, I heard the manga ending uh, left a lot to be desired. But that's kind of the story with a lot of anime. Like, the ending always seems... They, they seem to fumble the bag. Uh, Attack on Titan, they certainly fumble the bag with that one as well. But, uh, you know what? If you like an arena fighter, uh, and you're a fan of My Hero Academy, you'll enjoy My Hero 1's Justice 2. Super flashy, vibrant, dug the visuals. For $5.99, I think it's a pretty good pickup. Check that out. Next up, Halo the Master Chief Collection. 75% off for $9.99. I mean, this deal is a no-brainer given all the content that you're getting. Quite possibly from a value standpoint, the best deal available on all of Steam right now because you've got Halo 1, you get Halo 2, you get Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, and Halo Reach. Even if you don't touch the multiplayer component, which I know a lot of people won't, uh, from a single player campaign standpoint, a lot of these campaigns are really, really good, and you're getting all of the campaigns in one package for $9.99. Yes, it's available on Game Pass, but 
you know, to get all of these games for $9.99 is just insane and i'm not even the biggest halo fan in the world don't get me wrong like halo infinite's actually one of my most played games on steam um but you know i wasn't like a gigantic halo fan growing up i definitely enjoyed the franchise but when you have a value deal like this with all of these games for 9.99 that is just ridiculous and the campaigns again are quite good you don't even have to delve into the multiplayer to get value out of this and again 9.99 great deal there definitely check it out next up we got final fantasy 9 60 percent off for 839 now final fantasy 9 i I personally did not gravitate to it as much as everybody else. Final Fantasy IX within the Final Fantasy community is absolutely beloved. It seems like people adore FF9, and there are rumblings that there's going to be a remake of this coming out. So if you want to wait for the remake, absolutely not a bad idea, but... 839 for Final Fantasy 9. Again, I'm taking my own personal opinion out of it, where I still think it's a good JRPG. I just don't think it's the best Final Fantasy game of all time. But then again, I think Final Fantasy 16 is one of the best Final Fantasy games. And, uh, you know, people will vehemently disagree with that. So my opinion should be taken with a grain of salt. I got varying opinions compared to a lot of other people. But 839 for it. Check it out. If you're a fan of JRPGs, you'll have a good time with that. Just bear in mind that there is the remake that is supposedly coming, but I feel like I've been hearing about this remake for a while now, so, you know, keep that in mind as well. Next up, Control Ultimate Edition, 80% off for $7.99. You guys, I love Control, and in my humble opinion, again, an opinion that a lot of people will disagree with me on, Control is my favorite game out of Remedy. You're talking to somebody that didn't vibe with Alan Wake 2 that much, but I loved Control. I thought Control, from a gameplay standpoint, was awesome. The visuals are great. The atmosphere is excellent. Yeah, narratively, it's kind of hard to follow, but it comes together nicely. The Ultimate Edition gets you the DLC as well. Had a great time with it. Can't wait for Control 2. Hopefully, that'll be out before 2030. I know that that's going to take a while, but uh, yeah, $7.99 for Control Ultimate Edition. Great, great deal there. Definitely give that a look. Next up, we got Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. 90% off for $5.99. Great, great deal for Ace Combat 7. A fantastic action flight title with a great soundtrack as well. Narratively, Ace Combat's never done anything for me, but in terms of its action flight gameplay, $6 for that is a bargain. Definitely give that a look. Next up. From Mimimi Games, we have Desperados 3, 75% off for $9.99. Unfortunately, Mimimi Games has had this track record of just creating excellent tactics game after excellent tactics game, but I guess they just have not done well commercially enough where they are no longer making new games. They also did Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun as well as what uh shadow gambit the cursed crew which is a relatively recent release desperados 3 a great wild west setting and if you're remotely into tactics games check it out if you like the wild west setting i think you're gonna enjoy it from that standpoint for this price point again really really good pickup there resident evil 2 the remake 75 percent off for 9.99 excellent deal for re2 the remake and resident evil as a franchise has become one of the most consistent franchises in all of gaming in terms of how many games they release and on top of quality level you can't really beat resident evil comparatively to a lot of other franchises. Capcom has been crushing it, and Resident Evil 2 is great. Great remake of RE2, and I can't really, you know... Uh, speak on how this game compares to the original. I played the original, but it was so long ago, and I just did not have the affinity towards the original Resident Evils like that. Um, I really got into Resident Evil after Resident Evil 4, so, you know, that's the very casual Resident Evil take, so. But as far as a game itself goes, RE2 was really well done. Nine ninety nine, great price on that. Next up, Devil May Cry 5. This is on sale 67% off for nine eighty nine. Devil May Cry in the news a little bit, as there is going to be uh, an anime series. Johnny Youngbosch getting the voice actor role of uh, Dante, which is a little strange considering he voiced Nero as well, but, uh, you know, from the trailer I saw, I, th I thought he did a pretty good job as Dante, so hopefully uh, that anime turns out fairly well. Don't May Cry as a game itself, uh, DMC5, excellent. I'm not really into the DMC narrative either, uh, you know, doesn't really do anything for me, but I probably am in the minority as far as that's concerned. I play Devil May Cry for the fast-paced action gameplay, the awesome soundtrack, and boy oh boy, does DMC5 have that in spades. It is absolutely excellent from its gameplay, from its soundtrack, tremendously, tremendously well done, and I would strongly recommend it in that regard. Visuals are quite good, performance is great, runs well on the Steam Deck as well, and uh, definitely worthwhile to check that out. And lastly, we got Ori and the Will of the Wisps. The sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest. If you have yet to check out either game, I would recommend or the Ori Collection. You can get both games for $13.39. Otherwise, Will of the Wisps for $9.89. Please do play Blind Forest first. It's $4.99 if you have yet to pick that up. 
But uh, yeah, excellent game. Visual style is excellent. Gameplay is great. A really, really well done Metroidvania. And from a narrative standpoint, uh, relatively well done in that regards as well. But just a beautiful, beautiful game. Uh, definitely worthwhile at that price. But also available on Game Pass, much like MCC. But that'll do it for me. Again, a lot of great deals under the price of $10. Links to all of these are in the description box below. Check them out for yourself. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.